Hi guys, I have another Copic coloring and card tutorial for you today. I am coloring Late Rabbit by Make It Crafty, which is a Alice in Wonderland uh, inspired character. He's very, very cute. And I thought he would fit perfectly for a late birthday card. Uh, I'm coloring him on Make It Color blending paper, uh, which is the Make It Crafty blending paper which is a real good paper and I really love it. It's my uh, blending paper of choice. And yeah, it's not so much talking about coloring him. It's very simple coloring. He's a very little character, but I'm going to leave you here with some music and uh, I'll see you or you'll hear me when I start making the card. <laughs> We're starting with the sentiment. I'm using Lawn Fawn's Rayleigh's ABC and writing out I'm late because I didn't have any really like late uh, sentiments and I really like these kind of alphabet sentiments uh, that makes it possible to basically make any sentiment you want ever. Uh, I'm uh, stamping that with Versa Fine Onyx Black and I'm cutting it out to a little strip because we're going to do a little flag of that. Then I'm removing the I'm from that stamp because we're going to stamp the inside today. But it's not going to st stand I'm late. It's going to write out uh, happy late birthday. So I'm using two stamps from the Simon's Stamp uh, Love This stamp set. Happy and birthday and I'm stamping them after each other uh, stacked on each other and gonna be in the right bottom corner here I'm making a little bit of a flag end uh, on the sentiment on the front of the card I'm going to put the sentiment behind the rabbit and I'm kind of trying to figure out how wide I want to make my card because I'm going to make it a custom size. It's not going to be my standard A2 card this time because the image is so small. But I'm cutting it down to uh, cut cutting the uh, kind of uh, pattern paper down to three and a quarter. by four and a half and then I'm <laughs> testing it out again so that I'm sure that it is the right size uh, I'm also using some uh, pattern paper that actually is just one color it's not totally solid but almost solid color and I'm doing mats which is one eighth of an inch bigger uh, than that page and I'm doing two as we're gonna do an inside and I want the same black brownish paper as a border on the late inside and I'm using this lighter paper on the inside so that you can write a message very simple with a black pen now we're gonna make the card base I'm cutting it first down to uh, four and three quarters and then to seven inches because I'm gonna score it at three and a half so that it fits perfectly for the image. So the card base is four and a half by 
three and a half. Four and three quarters by three and a half. Sorry, that is correct. I am using my tape runner to layer all of those mats together and then I'm layering the mats onto the card base because it's easier to pop up the details afterwards. The papers I'm using are actually Graphic 45 Steampunk Spells. It's from the 8x8 paper pack and the solids are from the 6x6 paper pack. I'm actually putting the sentiment and the little rabbit together with a little bit of tape so that they stick together. And then I am putting some 3M Scotch foam tape on the back side to get that little bit of dimension on the card. And I'm cutting it to small pieces to fit perfectly behind that rabbit. And uh, then I just, then the card is done. And that was the card for today. And I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please thumbs it up. It means a lot to me. If you have any questions or um, any comments, just comment down below. Down below is all of the details of all of the cards. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye!